Yeah. We have electric guitar in here today. Welcome, Projected Twins. Uh, my name is Sean. <laughs> um, I have a louder guitars prototype with me here today. Isn't that something special? Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Look at that fancy wood. Mmm, ain't it pretty? It's so pretty. Hey, Kyle. Uh, awesome conversation earlier about uh, military stuff. I was really enjoying that. Definitely will have to follow that up again soon. So if you can um, see on the screen, we're hanging out with louder guitars. Hey, Melody. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Brent. Hey, Kyle. How you doing, y'all? Woohoo! Hello! And hello! And hello! And hello! Oh, and yeah, sexy guitar. That's right. Um, I, uh, I'm not going to be doing anything too impressive on here today. I haven't played electric guitar for a really long time. This is the first time electric guitar has been hanging out in my place. I'm not kidding. I want to buy one and have someone burn the PT logo on it. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? I was just talking to Chris on the phone a second ago. He rang me up to ask me how I've been enjoying this guitar. Um, and uh, I've been enjoying it a lot. I'm going to be putting it on all kinds of stuff. So on the screen, you can see ladderguitars.com. Also on the screen, what you can see is um, my little universal audio console here. And what I'm about to do is... I'm going to turn this into a, where are we, guitars and bass. I have a little Marshall Plexi set up down here somewhere. Plexi Classic, is that the one that I have? Yeah. Ooh. It's hot. Let's just turn you down a little bit. Oh, hang on, I can do that with this. There we go. So that's on the front pickup. Oh yeah. There we go. Uh, can we work that out? I'll figure out shipping and everything. Wait until we get to maintenance requirements. That's a bad time for story for everyone. Maybe not right away. I just figured out that chewing is not fun right now. Yeah, Melody's just been to the dentist recently. So this is our little little amp here. I want to see if I can... Um, you can hear some buzzing there. But yeah, I haven't really had much of a play with this plexi setup thing here but what have we got here we've got different input Ooh. Ooh. Got clean inputs and dirty inputs tuning is good how you guys all doing i've been having a really weird day a very very strange time so um I'd love to do like a proper guitar review. I'm kind of uh, just playing around with toys, though, really, to be honest. To be honest, instead of all that lion that I usually do, buzzing is my buns vibrating. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see what this sounds like now. <laughs> We've got a little presence knob here down somewhere as well. What is that going to do if I turn this up? Let's turn you up. Let's give us some more trips. A little less bass. Woo. So that's pretty cool. Just got some bad news we'll share with you later. All right. 
That doesn't sound good. What weird things happened today? My day was crazy weird too. Hey, Amber, how you doing? Um, today, I... So yesterday, I was like all sensitive and... and um, snowflakey i guess and today woke up just grumpy man grumpy grumpy dude today um just trying to stay out of everybody's way trying not to be the problem um not that anybody else is you know just one of those days man let's play this through a fender tweed thingy with a little fake it's a little fake microphone setup thing let's see what that does Ooh. hey paulette how you doing um Yes, it does sound serious, doesn't it? So yeah, this is the louder guitar. This is the guitar that I think I'm going to do a, well, already started to, but going to be doing a whole bunch of tracking on. I am going to be replacing a bunch of demo guitars with this. Still raw. Yeah, still a bit raw. Still a bit raw. I just, um, there's just so much to do. So much to do. And it's not that I'm worried about not being able to do it. I feel confident with the doing part. Um, there's just a lot to get through. Thankfully, I'm not in a huge rush. Or at least I shouldn't be. That is a lot of bass. Let's maybe try. Let's try. We're going to open up Logic and have a play with some of that's better let's maybe turn you off off you go have a play with some of the logic amps that we have ignore still haven't managed to get all of the slate plugins so i've been using a combination of universal audio plugins for the for the home producer um and uh some slate plugins so much like just authorizational <laughs> Booha to get through. Ooh. It's warm in here. The strings are stretching. We're having this weird thing in Adelaide at the moment where it's cold as fuck when you get up. Warm and stuffy in the middle of the day and then cold as hell when you go to bed. <laughs> That sounds nice. That sounds nice. Let's put a little tape delay on. Oh, that is pretty. That is a pretty sound. I like that a lot. Then you go out and it's freezing cold. Yeah, that's right. Try being in England. You look outside and it looks amazing. And then you go outside and it's freezing cold. No, thanks. No, thank you. Adelaide is bad enough. Adelaide's great, really. I was talking to someone yesterday that just moved down here from...
distorted guitar. Let's try. Where is it? Big stack. What one did I used to use? This is one that I used to use all the time. This just shows you how long it's been since I've actually been in here mixing and working on music. I can't even remember what I use. Is it a classic drive? Yeah, it's a classic drive. Use the classic drive, mate. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> It's a cool thing. Australian internet for you. That's right. That's what happens. We can only stay on long online for so long. <laughs> Guitars, guitars, guitars. So yeah, that is the little louder guitar prototype that we're playing with that I'm going to hold on to for as long as I can. What is your favorite style of electric guitar to jam? So there's another electric guitar that Chris has made that you can find on their website. I can't remember the exact model for it, um, but it's a, it's a hollow body guitar. So it's kind of like a... Um, a Les Paul-ish sort of cut on the body, but um, it's a semi-acoustic, um, which is probably the wrong word to use, but it's a hollow body. It sounds really, really cool. It does awesome ballsy rock lead shreddy stuff, but then it also sounds really nice and, and clean and harmonic and, and lovely. So I like that a lot. Um, one guitar that I've never played before, but I love the sound of is a baritone guitar. I think the best way to describe it is that the strings are like thick enough that it's kind of like a halfway between the gauge of an electric guitar and a bass guitar. So really thick, heavy, rich strings. Um, and I had this cool idea that I wanted uh, at some point Chris to make a hollow body baritone guitar. Um, I think that would be cool. Yeah, you like that song? Ooh. Fun stuff. Did I stack amps up? I might have as well. I can hear clean tone and dirty tone. I think that's actually just the natural... Ah, if I turn the pedal board off. Ah, okay, there we go. There was a pedal plugged in there as well. Um, let's do some clean guitar stuff. Di I like this one. Here we go. Dynatram. <laughs> Who recognizes this one? Sean, are you still working on that other demo that you were trying to track before you got the new computer stuff? Yeah, that was the one I think I was playing around with that before. Uh, 
love this effect. I've been dreaming for so long that I don't know if I'm awake or if I'm asleep. I've been waiting for so long and tears are fading. I know So Sean, I have a question. I would love to learn to play an instrument and guitar is probably top on my list, uh, but me being a massage therapist, I need to keep my hands and fingers more. So a uh, bit on the softer side, what direction would you suggest I go? Piano is also something I have thought. Piano is probably good if you want to keep your hands good um or like a nylon acoustic guitar they're like way softer they're not steel strings um that might be a bit easy on you how does the new song you shared today sound on this guitar for antonica what song did i share today i shared a song today does anybody remember what it was called was it a song of mine that I did, I don't remember. Um, that was that one that I was doing with, uh, that was the Nathan Wills song um, that we never finished, got to finish, that I should finish. Van day. thanks a bunch, you're welcome. I think she meant yesterday, I shared a song yesterday. Um, I can't remember what that was on Facebook. Did I share it on Facebook? Do you remember where I shared it? Oh, um, I'll play you another song that I've been working on. It's a cool little thing. Playing in D. You guys playing in D? I'm playing in D. D D. Um. Uh, you were sharing the new song with us yet while streaming oh the song i was doing yesterday the um about the time that i started believing should be doing this on my own Better to walk this path alone. Maybe a cleaner tone, like Yeah. I'm not very good at finger picking. Couldn't believe that you were always there. Everything is different from here. When I wait, you wait with me. Now. Um, 
Um, but there's this other little groovy thing that I've been working on that I kind of like. It, um, so I'm bringing in some other flavors. So don't worry, I'm still going to do the rocky thing. You know, like when the song asks me to, I'll still, I'll still go balls out rock. But I just need to get like, I have, uh, I grew up listening to lots of pop. And and I'm bringing that that in. I I like, I'm the mel I'm the melody guy. I like the melody. Uh, I like you melody, but I'm the melody guy. I like melodies. I like, I like a little bit of snap to the song. Everything that you are Breathe Everything is so far Now I Like me, me. You Yeah, so I don't really know how it goes. I just the uh, the vocals aren't written. I'm just making that up. But it it but that. you are I feel like everything is so far no I don't know. I just um, there's a bunch of songs coming through that are just kind of like, you know, there are some of those songs that make you want to stand up and punch the sky, and then I have a bunch of other songs coming through in the album that you, after you're a little bit like, oh, this was fun, and I've been punching the sky for a bit. I'd like, but I would like to lay down and just like chill out for a second. So, like, there will be lots of opportunities to catch your breath and just. pretty um what else did i have I had another one that was like is it I need to learn finger picking. I really, I'm just kind of like guessing it. I love finger picking. One of the things that I love about Chris's guitars, right, is so um, they have this room there where you can test out their guitars and their basses and stuff. And they've got some really nice amps and like um, everybody goes in, they crank it up real loud and whatever. And I just love like, and they do that really, really well. I mean, all of the guitars on all of my albums in the past, which have had lots of distortion, lots of chugging, lots of riffing, lots of solos, lots of lead stuff, you know, that that's the louder guitar thing. But my favorite thing about louder guitars is just like turning them up loud and then playing them really softly.
They're just beautiful, angelic, piano-y. It's a beautiful thing. I love it a lot. Um, the other day when I was sick, I was playing around with this. Let me see if I can... Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear any echo or whatever, but yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we won't worry about it. But the other day when I was sick, I was playing around with um I was in the shower and I heard this like nineties R and B version of um Safe tonight. Uh. Well, there's a love on the fire, and it burns like me for you. Tomorrow comes with one desire to take me away. Well, it ain't easy to say goodbye, darling. Please don't start to cry, cause girl, you know I gotta go. Yeah, and Lord, I wish she wasn't so. Say tonight, yeah, fight the break of dawn, come tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be gone. Say tonight, and fight the break of dawn, come tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be gone. Hey, hey, da 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 <laughs> That's pretty fun. Can you read tablature eg from ultimateguitar.com? I can really, really slowly though. Like I'm very, very, very slow when it comes to like reading the thing on the page. And then I, I'm like, okay, that's number one. That's here. That's whatever, you know, because um, uh, I think I started learning tablature before I was, anyone tried to teach me any like music theory, but once I learned what the first couple of notes are, my head just figured out the rest of it anyway. Yeah, I would like to do the um, R&B version of Save Tonight. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go in a sec, but before I go, I'll give you guys one of these ones. How do they go up here? See if you know what this one is. I actually wanted to do not an R and B version, but an R and B influenced R and B influenced, but still proggy version of um. Uh, See your face 
How's it going? That is the uh, Louder Guitars prototype. Um, show them some love. What a beautiful instrument. You'll be seeing a lot of this, and you'll be hearing a lot of this in some tracks, and maybe some other Louder Guitars, because um, uh, they're very nice people, and they let me play with their toys. So um, if you are interested in Louder Guitars, you should go and check them out at louderguitars.com. They have not paid me to, to say this. They've just allowed me to use their stuff and been good friends of mine for a long time. And that's all it takes. Thanks for hanging out this afternoon, everybody. I love you all. I, uh, I'm making my way out of my, out of my funk. I think um, today is like last day of school before school holidays. And even though it's not, my last day of school there's that weird thing that happens where like because i work on the weekends mainly like across the weekends i've got a gig tonight at strath album at the commercial hotel at eight o'clock and uh so like when the weekend comes around when friday comes around you know like i'm getting ready to start like my my job job for the weekend and most people are like can't wait for the weekend to start but i still get that friday like yes TGIF Friday vibe, even though like my, my, my main occupation is just starting on that day. So there's like residual Friday vibe from the collective unconscious that I'm taken in. And, uh, I think maybe, maybe I'm like feeling the overwhelm and frustration of last day of school before holidays and all of the kids in the school at the moment, they're like, I don't give a fuck just let the bell go yeah pull it together man pull it together man i love you all i'll see you soon thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for liking and sharing and thank you for hanging out with us on our projected twins uh facebook group page and in our discus and if you're not in there then thank you for coming and finding us right now um, you can watch more videos on YouTube here on Facebook, um, and be sure to make sure you subscribe and get all the notifications and stuff because our group shirt is happening soon and I would like you to be on it. Everyone's name is going to be on the back. Projector Twin logo is going to be on the front and we're all going to have one and it's going to be sick. Thanks, Christy Ramsey. And thank you, Christy, also for, um, holding space for me yesterday. I really appreciate it. Helped me unpack some things, which was really cool. Um, we have a really cool group, by the way, guys. I am just like sitting back and just watching all of the interaction happen in the Discord page. And I'm just like, I can't believe I, like it's actually, this is actually happening. There's like a really cool, decent, supportive, lovely group of people in there. I was hanging out in the voice chat earlier with Melody and Kyle chatting about dentistry and military and all kinds of stuff and there's no rules here you know everyone's welcome uh the only rule is is uh you know like just don't don't hurt anyone don't don't intend to hurt anyone and if you feel you know like i don't know i think that's pretty good for now don't in, don't intend to hurt anyone and um if you go in there and you know that you're not intending to hurt anyone and you know that everybody else that's gone in there has been told not to intend to hurt anyone, then maybe we don't have to worry so much about um, the little things. Don't know. Talking shit now. Pull it together. I'll see you later, guys. Thank you very much.